Lord Albert is dead. He was first with the symptoms. It's amazing he lasted as long as he did. We must choose a new magistrate. Let us at least bury the man before we talk of his replacement. No disrespect for the dead, but we don't have the luxury of time. Decisions need to be made. I, for one, have made mine. Then your lot is cast with Henry Bartlett. He is the only one who offers a solution to this dreaded plague. Yes, but the risk is too high. The risk of doing nothing is worse. We are dying. All of us. How do we know his sorcery hasn't brought this pestilence upon us in the first place? Franklin, how could you think that? All I'm saying is that it's dangerous. He's dangerous. I'm no danger to you, Franklin. I meant no offense, Bartlett. But this is not rain for our crops. This is life and death. You are our magi, Bartlett. If you can rid the town of this plague, then let it be done. He speaks for the town, Bartlett. Not for all of us. Enough of us. We will be dealing with the darkest of powers, even to invoke such an incantation. There will be consequences, gentlemen. Only someone with my mastery will be able to hold sway over such matters. And in order to do this, you feel you need to be magistrate? If I am to act, Franklin, I must certainly have full authority to do so. Sir Henry? Sir? You interrupt me, boy! But, sir, it's your daughter. Father. What is it, my child? I have the spots now, too. Come to me, my child. As I said, what higher price is there? You must decide. Gentlemen, I, for one, will not sit idly by while my daughter wastes away to nothing. And you will accept the consequences, whatever they may be? Yes. Yes. We are not complete without you, Franklin. You must speak for the rest of the town. Yes. And so be it. It is done. No. No. Every year, on this day of the winter solstice, one of us must be chosen. He will be set at the center of the town, the stockade bound by chains and shackles. The chosen one will wear a brand, and he shall wait. This will protect you from all that is evil. The disease, this plague that I will pull forth from each and every dying soul, won't be cast out entirely. Everything evil, everything malignant, and everything wretched about what has befallen us will arise anew, take shape. A hideous beast spawned from hell itself. Our fate is now left to the mercy of that which must be fed. This manifestation of our diseases. What is this hideous beast you speak of? The ogre.
This looks like a good place to camp. What? No, not yet. Okay, well, we gotta let the girls catch up anyways. I think that we're getting really close, though. Close to what? Not a cell tower, that's for sure. Well, hold up, Mike. Mike, 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 does that look like the entrance to a path to you? Hey, where did you get that thing anyways? I bought it. Not off the internet? It's authentic. No, it's not a path. You don't know, you don't even care. Hey, I care, okay, I care. It's, it's a great story, a town lost in time. It's a fun excuse to go camping. But it's not gonna be any fun if you don't relax. I'm relaxed. Jessica, does that look like a path to you? No, not at all. Both you guys are no fun. Terry, you know that it's unlikely that we're actually gonna find anything, right? There was a town out here. There were lots of towns out here in like the 1850s. There are documented cases. Documented cases, Jess. Oh, hey, the book, again. Documents! Look, 1947. A hiker finds a vintage musket lying in the woods, spotless, like, like brand new. 1964, two hunters are hunting, and they see people in Civil War era clothing running through the woods. Then those people simply disappeared. It's written right there. OK. I'm done with the trees. Oh, god, not the stupid book again. Why did any of you come if you don't believe this? You know what? You guys have sucked the fun out of this. Okay, Terry. Give me the map. What? No. Give me the map. No. Give me the map. Why? Give me the map. Be... <sighs> North. There. What? Let me see that. You, you actually found it. Terry. <laughs> if this is the path, then we only need to go. <laughs> 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 oh. That was a spectacular display. You all right? OK, come on. I can't. It hurts. Are you really hurt? Oh. Oof. <sighs> Let me see. Ah. What, is it broken? Okay, I can feel the edge of the bone. Great. So, what do we do now? Well, I mean, I, I don't want to scare anybody, but we are in the middle of nowhere. So, if that's broken, you can't walk out of here, and we're not going to get very far dragging your ass. Are you serious? Yeah, I think we should just be smart. You guys set up camp. I'm going to hike on a little bit further. I'll see if I can find anything. Like what? I know there might be a ranger station, a hunting lodge, something like that. I'll go with you. No, it's OK. I'll be faster by myself. Let's be safe. Buddy system, you know? We'll just split up. All right. You two set up camp. We'll be back as soon as we can, OK? You guys will be fine. No. You guys will be OK together. Don't do anything I wouldn't. I don't know how to set up camp. This is great. this? Maybe there is a tan out here. You think it's Ellensford? Absolutely. It's also a UFO fueling station. Bigfoot, the Loch Ness Monster, they hang out here sometimes. It's a huge party. How do you close a town? You don't. But Mike, it says no trespassing. Yeah, but it doesn't say please. You coming? How do you go on a camping trip and not even know how to put up a tent? It's not a camping trip, it's an expedition. Oh, what, they don't put up tents on expeditions? What do you think I bring Mike for? This is ridiculous, I'm freezing. Oh, I'm sorry, next time I'll break my ankle next to a, a nice little cottage with a pot-bellied stove. What is that? Mike, what if this is, you know, just a ghost town? Well, like I said, 
We'll just camp for the night and I'll hike back out in the morning. Well, hey, it's not a ghost town. Mike, 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 shh. Listen, listen. Okay, creepy, creepy. but uh, there's people, they could help. They could be creepy people. Come on. Well, how about go back? How about, no. Look at that. Well, what do you think it is? I don't know, I don't know. It's creepy if you ask me. Hey, watch it! You're leading, I'm just... I just keep hobbling. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. It's the symbol. It's burnt in. Werewolves. No, it's not werewolves. Don't you ever watch the movies? That is totally the symbol for a werewolf. No, in, in pre-Christian paganism, the five-pointed star was the symbol of the sacred feminine associated with the planet Venus. Read a book. You're such a nerd. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to open the door. What is it? I am not going in there. This is the same symbol that's on the map. Anne? I've actually found something connected to Ellensford. Do you... Uh, worst case, it's a place to get out of the cold, okay? And I'll stop hurting myself on branches. Oh! oh what is that smell? You know what, Leah? I, I really try to like you. I mean, you're hot, but open your heart <laughs> to something other than, like... <laughs> Town, there must be a doctor, right? Let's go. Many years ago, a great plague took hold of our town. What was once a town of several hundred strong has been whittled down to those of us in this room, for we are all who remain. As we start today's ceremony, I suggest that it is more important today than ever before to remember the pain and suffering that we all endured then, so that perhaps we might more fully understand the pain and suffering that we must certainly endure today. Another life for another year, so it says in the sacred pact. We must ask the orb, as we have in so many years past, to give us a name, to tell us who is the brave heart that we will offer up. <laughs> One life for all life. We have decided, and the chosen one is Stephen Chandler. We must stop this. This is wrong. All of you, 
We must fight the beast and the pack. Search your hearts. You know I am right. No, Father, no. Let us all offer a blessing to Stephen Chandler. May he have strength, honor, and peace. No, Father, no. Please, Father, no. Please don't. Sorry, it's out of my hand. Guys, look, this is a big misunderstanding. <gasps> the hell is your problem? He is coming. Who's coming? Good day, young travelers. Good day for who? I I'm sorry, are we under arrest or something? It remains to be seen. You were trespassing. Okay, look, I, I don't know if you're the mayor or, or something, but we need your help, okay? It was very unwise of you to ignore our sign. We didn't see a sign. What sign? There's one road in and out of Ellensford. Otherwise, it's surrounded by forest. You saw our sign. Did you... Did you just say this is Ellensford? Oh, okay, okay. No, I'm sorry. You know what? Yeah, we saw your sign. Okay, my friend is hurt out in the woods. He possibly has a broken ankle. We just need some help. You, you know what help is, right? You should have gone somewhere else. We're not welcome outsiders in Ellensford. We have no idea of knowing what you've seen or heard. Okay, look, we get it, all right? You guys have been really hospitable and all, but we're gonna take them. No, I do not think so, young man. You see, now it is impossible for you to leave. I would like you to take our guests to the waiting place, send men out to get their friends in the woods and bring them to me at once. Okay, guys, okay. Right. Oh. 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 Get your hands off me. Like, oh, oh my god, do you have any idea how many penal codes you broke in the last five minutes? Oh, Don't push me. Hey. Guess what? My father is a prominent attorney. He is gonna go. Okay. No. Okay. You're not even allowed to do that. You're not even a cop. You guys are in so much trouble. We get a phone call. Okay, or do you guys not have phones? Yeah. It's in Sir Henry's hands now. Oh, no. He makes the rules. I, okay, but, but... I think you good luck. I think you an idiot. Yes! Relax, okay? I'm gonna get us out of here. Not likely. What'd they get you for, jaywalking? Jaywalking? No. I am the chosen one. That's pretty. Chosen for what? Doesn't matter. You should not have come here. Really? Because, you know, we didn't get that sense at all yet. It's all in Sir Henry's hands now. But the guy with the stick? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, this is no joke. You people cannot be serious. Oh, please don't be serious. <laughs> what? Is, is this an actor's hamlet? This, this whole thing's a play, right? Where you pretend to be from this mythical town? Yeah. I don't understand. This is no play. No myth. It is our plight. Ah. What's the chosen one chosen for what? Sacrifice. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. 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 Yes.
Sacrifice. Okay, so they're gonna they're gonna kill us, offer us to the gods, that kind of thing. Not you. Me. One life for the prosperity of the many. I'm telling you, you got a bum rap. These are very serious matters. A powerful spell governs our land. Oh, come on. Come on to what? I don't even know why I'm explaining this to you. She doesn't believe any of this, neither do I. Whether you choose to believe it or not, tomorrow I will be offered as a sacrificial meal. They're gonna eat you? Not them. Okay, who's gonna eat you? The ogre. Hope, over the years, we've all lost those we loved, including you and your father. Yes, my mother was one of the first. I remember it as if it was yesterday. But at least she died of the plague. At least she died of natural causes. I don't know how natural the plague was to begin with. Never mind, I've, I've misspoken. No, I've heard the rumors, Franklin. I am not deaf. We were all there that day. Your father did what he had to do. We all agreed. You didn't. They forced your hand. I remember it. That was many years ago. What's done is done. Why are you here now? You know I can't save Stephen. Some people in this town talk of ending it. Stephen was the most outspoken of them all. But I understand that you share his feelings. I do as well. Hope not to offer sacrifice would mean the death of us all. We're already dead. We're the living dead who in each year live in fear of being chosen. Who can't leave this cursed town? Who don't age? Who don't marry? Who don't have young? Who calls this a life? Please. I understand your concerns, but there was a pact. It's not easy to change that. The people will follow you. They trust you. Look at me. Just by being here, I'm opposing my own father. We must speak to him, if not for us, then for the travelers who happened into this town. I fear my father has ill intentions. Please, Franklin, you must talk to him. If they've crossed the boundary, there's no following them. Name. Doors are open. It'll come for us all. We must head back and warn the others. Sir Henry, how can I help you, Franklin? I've come to talk about these travelers. What about them? May I ask, what are your intentions? My intentions? Why are you holding them? Well, because they have seen too much. And what are you going to do with them? Sacrifice them? Such a possibility exists, I see no reason why I shouldn't consider it. These outsiders have not made this bargain. It is wrong to punish them with the curse we brought on ourselves. It's murder. How dare you? So it is your intention. My intention, Franklin, is as always to do all that is necessary to protect this town and the people in it. Now, should I do this thing, then Stephen Chandler, one of our very own, will have the opportunity to live another two years, perhaps even four, if we find the others. How can you possibly argue with that? Are you telling me the ceremony is rigged, Sir Henry? 
That the Chosen One can be changed at will? Your will? The audacity you have to question me on these matters. I am this town's magistrate and Don't throw that title at me, Bartlett. I was there when it was given to you. Yes, but it was given to me. It was taken! Get out. A Magi wanted to be magistrate. Then suddenly a mysterious plague befalls our town, forcing our hand to anoint the only one that has the power to stop it. That is enough! Be careful, Franklin. Or what? You'll choose me next? You walk a very dangerous line, my friend. There is a growing number of us who feel this should end. We should stand up to the ogre once and for all. You should kill the ogre and stop making the sacrifice. It's a ridiculous dream of a child. Every year, one of us is eaten. That is a nightmare. Yes, that is exactly why I was made magistrate, because I knew that none of you would have the will to do that which is necessary. And what's that? We sacrifice for your eternal life. We're all in this together. Franklin, at least you forget we do not grow in number. I, too, will die. And who will be the one to chain you to the stockade? You shouldn't have come here. How could I not? I am regretful for the actions of this town. Indeed, as we are. Please, please doth grant a swift exit from here, and we promise it never to returneth again. Hith. He seems to be a jester of sorts. I find him quite amusing, considering the dire circumstances. It's Sir Henry's intention to let young Stephen here go and offer you up as a sacrifice instead. Oh, we can't let that happen. Yeah, I'd, I'd listen to young Stephen on this one. I have learned things today. An awful truth, my father. What is it? Never mind. Just know that even Franklin is growing more brave by the minute. But has he spoken to your father? Yes. There's no convincing him. Uh, hang on. Is your father Henry Bartlett? Stick, dude. Okay, you have my condolences. <laughs> what the hell was that? I must go. <laughs> for something? No. Well, yes. A book. Something perhaps I could help you with? A book of stories from when I was small. You're no longer a child, my dear. What possible curiosity could such a book hold for you now? It used to comfort me at night when I was scared. I want to give it to young Stephen to comfort him as he awaits his end. And what if young Stephen were not to be chosen this year? Or next? Isn't that what you mean? There are two travelers in the prison cell with Stephen. Well, I thought this would make you happy. So you did this for me? To make me happy? Father, I am not happy. None of us are. We don't know what happiness is anymore. Use your powers and put an end to this. That would make me happy. No, I cannot do that. Have you even tried? <sighs> oh, even if I could reverse such dark magic, I wouldn't do it. Not if it meant that I'd have to sit by and watch my daughter waste away to nothing. I, I won't do that. But these travelers were not part of that pact. So you would prefer that this happen to young Stephen? I'd rather be no one. It, it is not possible. <laughs> oh, if the ogre does not accept the intended sacrifice, then he will exact his revenge over the entire town. A wrath which is only imaginable in the very depths of hell itself. 
I cannot and will not preside over such an event. How is one death different from any other? <laughs> Men never return. I fear the worst. What if the lair has been disturbed? What if the beast has been awakened too soon? We must send another search party. No, it's too late for that. If the lair has been disturbed, then their fates have already been sealed. But if the beast is evil, perhaps we need not sacrifice to it. It's the very act of sacrifice, the act of being chosen and submitting to the beast itself that fulfills our end of the bargain. These travelers have not been chosen. They don't wear the mark. But still, if the lair has been disturbed, have to make a sacrifice right away to keep him from coming after us all. Do you see? Do you see now? These travelers have brought undue pain onto us all. Because of them, two more of us are dead. Well, it would appear that the decision has been made for us. smart enough to realize that we need some help. I mean, maybe they can get us out of this. You know, I bet Terry's hopping to it right now. Hank, I'm serious. I'm just getting a little bit scared here. You know, it's not funny. No, it's not funny. It's ridiculous. Stevie, this whole town of yours, you're all freaking nuts. You should just do what normal kids do and run away. I can't. Why not? Yeah, man, I mean, I'd be so far gone right now. That's you. But we cannot leave this town. And therein lies the rub. <laughs> okay, Stevie. Mm. What happens if you leave this town? Awful things. Night has fallen. It will come for me soon. Now I thought they were coming for me. Wait, oh. what is it? eyes of good fortune upon you this evening. It is my time. I am indeed the chosen one. Bring forth the boy. Yes. Yes. Nothing. Okay. Touch her. Get your hands up. Get your hands up. Oh. No, do not do this. It is my turn. I am chosen. Please, you don't understand. No, no, please, you don't understand. He didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. My friends are still out there. They're calling the cops as we speak. Your friends are dead. Dead at the hands of the beast. You don't know that! You are all at the mercy of the ogre now, and he shows no mercy. Bring the boy. Hey! Hey! Ah. Jess, she's lying. Jess! Hey! Hey! Get back here! Move! Let go of me! Let go! I am warning you! I am warning you! Stop! Jess! It's okay! All right, it's cool! 
people are crazy. All of you, if anything happens to him. This oh. is enough. You got Stay inside now. People. Let me go take this off now. I'm warning you. This has gone way too far, dude. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go! That's enough! Get back here! Risk everything. Everything that is worth risking. Oh God, shut up. Where's Mike? Let's go get him then, shall we? Are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm great. Great. We must hurry. You must go on alone. You're coming with us. If you guys go back to that town, they're gonna feed you both to that thing. Maybe so, but we cannot leave this place. We cannot cross the boundary. If you guys weren't planning on coming with us, then why? Because it's time. You two aren't part of this. We're a good people. We've just lost our way. The bell hasn't rung. All is not well. Sir Henry! Sir Henry, are you there? There was no sacrifice. How 
How could that be? Could he have escaped? Not without help. Franklin, maybe this was your doing. How could you suggest that? We must assemble the town immediately. The prison cell is empty. Jesus. We must set out and find them. No, we must assemble now. Where's Sir Henry? There's still time we can right this wrong. All of you, pair to the town hall. In Sir Henry's absence, it is my word. It is my word. I know, Jess. Look, this is gonna turn out okay. All right, we're gonna make it through. You have to believe that. Oh, yeah, okay. And what if what that guy said was true and, and Terry and Leah really are dead? I don't know, Jess. I don't know, we have to believe otherwise. Tell people, Jess. What? The truth. What truth? The, the, the truth about an ogre? About a town lost in time that, that doesn't age the imaginary line that disintegrates people in seconds? Awesome. Which one do you want to lead with? Well, then we'll just have to take them back there. Okay, I never thought I'd say this, but we need to find the cops. Okay, so we'll just explain everything to them, and then we'll take them there, and then we'll prove it. It's not gonna go well. No. Where is Sir Henry? And why was there no sacrifice? Where what are we to do now? The ogre will seek revenge on us all. Everyone, please. We must remain calm. We must use our wits and not be driven by fear or anger. Where is Sir Henry, Franklin? What kind of trickery is this? I don't know where the others are. What I do know is the pact has been broken. The ogre's wrath may be set upon us. That's right. No. There is still time. Henry Bartlett could not just have disappeared. He wouldn't do that. I already went to his home. He was nowhere to be found. Perhaps then Sir Henry has gone to capture the outsiders himself. Perhaps. But we must move on without Sir Henry for now. Where is Hope Bartlett? And Stephen Chandler? I don't know. Doing out here, child. I was, I was worried sick. You used to teach me the craft once, remember? We have no time for that hope. We have to get back to the town. I must offer up another sacrifice before it's too late. Come. If we must sacrifice, then choose me. No, you would never do that. Who shall it be this time? You don't understand. Not Stephen. He's already dead. The outsiders are gone. Who's next? Franklin? Is he your biggest threat? You watch your tongue, young lady. Or maybe you can wave your staff and cause another plague, one worse than the last. I can't believe we, have to have we can't wait. We must sacrifice now. It is our only chance. And who is to choose? You, Giles? Or are you volunteering yourself for sacrifice? If the travelers have made it past the border, then we should find Stephen Chandler, as was first planned. What, and what if he's never found? Enough! This is pointless, people. This is a sign. 
The travelers were not a harbinger of doom. We need to look upon them as a beacon, an example that exposed the ills of this town, ills that have gone on for far too long. Henry Bartlett lied about the Chosen One. No! no. Yes. How much further did his lies go? We must find him then. Accusations like this should not be slung in his absence. No. He should be allowed to speak for himself. Yes. He is not here now. Without him, it is my say. I have found the book. I have seen the spells. You are a monster. Hope it was not supposed to be this way. There was only supposed to be one. Lord Albert, the town needed a new leader. I knew what the town needed. The town needed me. But the spell couldn't be controlled and it spread. I did all I could. You did what you wanted. I gave you eternal life. All you gave us was death. Your gift. This will protect you from all that is evil. Those were your words, remember? Hope. Father, you are evil. Evil or not, this town needs me now more than ever. What could you possibly do? What we should have done years ago. Find a way to destroy the beast without your help. Hope, it cannot be done! Don't you understand? That is the true plague of Ellensford. Kill the beast or not, it doesn't matter. You will all perish. I will rejoice the day. We all will. Hope! We need to take arms against the beast. Fight it once and for all. That is like signing our own death. Something is moving in the trees. Hope, you have given us all a horrible scare. Where is your father? I do not know. And we all must listen to Franklin now. There will be no more sacrifices. If the ogre is to set his wrath upon us, we must be ready. What, ready for what? We can't defeat the ogre. I cannot stop the ogre, not yet. But I can buy us some time. Oh, what are you talking about? What is all this? Years ago, my father passed on some of his craft to me, as a precaution should this day ever come. Do you want to live through this night? Yes. Then listen to me. Everyone grab one candle. Suicide to follow the plan of some impetuous young girl. I say we find our leader. Done.
been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you got that punchline right? Help you? Yeah. Yeah. Look, we were hiking in the in the woods, our and something, got something happened. He like broke his ankle or something. To, to our friends, we ended up running whoa, into this chair. So let's take this one at a time. Why don't you both sit yep. down, slow down? <laughs> Okay, our friends are lost. Look, this isn't going to be easy to explain. Okay, two, but we, two of our friends are missing. We in were the hiking wo in the woods. Hang on, you're going to give me whiplash. You go. What? Yeah. Okay. We were on a hiking trip with two of our friends, Terry and Leah. Terry hurt and he probably ended up breaking his ankle, so we left him to come and get some help. <clears throat> left him, huh? No, we didn't leave like abandoned. They were okay when we left. We're okay. okay. Are okay. Were or are. No, are. are. You're not from around here, are you? No, we're... Listen, bro, this is important, okay? Sheriff. I'm sorry. Sheriff. <clears throat> you know that town out in the woods? It's like uh, an Amish village or something? Uh, Ellensford? <laughs> you hear that, Anderson? They're looking for Ellensford. We're not looking for Ellensford. We were there. Son, I've lived here all my life. There's no oh town God. out there. That's an urban myth. Okay, you know what? We're not crazy. We were there. They kidnapped us and they locked us in a jail cell. Kidnapped, huh? Do you know what an ogre is? Ogre? What the hell are you talking about? An ogre, okay? A beast lives in the woods, eats people. Sure, I know what an ogre is. Anderson, you know what an ogre is, don't you? Yeah, sure do. Name's Patty. Been married 12 years. Raising a little ogre, too. <laughs> I'm just gonna go get the paperwork together. We'll take your statement, then we'll see about finding your friends. Okay, please hurry. Yeah. Just be a moment. You two go sit over there. Hey, hello. Yeah, Patty, what is it? No, there's actually people here. We got something to do. I'm working again. Okay, look, I, you just one more second. something? No. Sir Henry? Sir Henry? Keep your voice down. Why don't you set a table for the ogre before you send him to dinner? Giles, this is foolish. We should go back. And do what? We must find Sir Henry. What if something else is already found, Sir Henry? Wait. Giles!
Yeah, no kidding. I told you this thing wasn't gonna go off road. Not a freaking SUV. Just stop, stop! Let me get out and check it. Okay, go. better now? Well, they're gonna come looking for it. We wanted them out here anyways, right? Yeah, yeah, but without the Grand Theft Auto charges would have been nice, but eh. It's cute. There we go. Whoa, okay. Do you know how to work that thing? No. That's scary. Need more shells. You know that if we go back in there, we might not come out again, right? Yeah, Jess, I know. We have to try. I told Terry and me we were coming back for them. Yeah, no, I know. I just making sure we're working with all our faculties. <laughs> Everything I've seen in the woods so far, I'm winging it. Best. Okay. Pour a circle of salt around your house. The circle will act as protection against the ogre, just as our barrier keeps us from leaving this town. Once your candle is lit, you must keep the candle burning. Now, repeat these words with us. Within, Within this circle, circle, all things material and human shall be safe and untouched from the evil within the forest until the flame burns no more. Don't worry, Mother. We'll be safe now until Father returns. Your father would be proud. Don't worry, he'll return. I'm sure he's all right. My father is dead. Dead? It'll be okay, Franklin. One way or another, this shall all come to an end. It is time for all of us to face our destiny. Maybe your father's already slain the elder. Maybe he's already on his way home with the good news. Yes, I should pray so. Yes. What? It's Terry. Oh Mike, where are you going? I'm going back to that town. dead and that thing killed them. Okay, that guy Steven saved your life. Okay, and Hope saved mine. So I'm going back there because if there's a way to kill this thing, I'm gonna find it. Mike! 
Spell will work. See? There now. Walking for hours. What if we can't find that place again? I mean, the sheriff didn't even know it existed. The sheriff doesn't know his own stench exists. Never mind this place. We're close, okay? Okay. Well, what if we've just been walking in circles this whole time? Mike! Jess! Enough! I'm sorry. We're close. Are we even going back again? Shh, shh, shh. Go. Everyone quiet. Please. Give the travelers a chance to speak. All right. We encountered your ogre and we lived. Shots from my gun chased it clean through the woods. If it ran, it means it was hurt. If it was hurt, it can be killed. Oh, my. 
Bullets won't kill the ogre. We need more than your gun to destroy it. We need more candles, more powder from hope. It is the only reason that the beast did not take more of us last night. Exactly. No, William is right. We need more than a gun. There's a chance I can undo my father's spell, but it's going to take time. A chance? If there was a way to kill the ogre, why haven't we tried before? Where was our will before? My father had us living in fear. Now we have to be brave. This is our only chance. The ogre will need to be distracted. Distract the ogre. How do you plan on doing that? With bait. And just what? Or dare I say, who is going to beat that bait? Me. The traveler is right. They are the only ones that can cross the line and come back. That is our advantage. All right. We need as many men as we have weapons. Where's Giles? Where's the keeper of arms? Matthew, where's your father? Where is Giles, my boy? This is not a time for secrets. He and Lawrence took arms from the supply and went into the woods to find Sir Henry. He's not returned. How many more sons, daughters, loved ones must we sacrifice? How many lives have we all lived confined by this curse? The time has come to face our fear, defeat the ogre, no matter the consequence. I need men. refuge here in the town hall. You'll only be safe by combining what candles we have left. Matthew, will there be any remaining arms in the keep? There's not many to begin with. Then we will make with our hands what else we need. Not what you would call an arsenal. We'll have to do. Do they work? Giles polished them every day. He kept them in prime condition. Rock and roll. These are all too small, Matthew. How about this one? That's the one, yes. I'm back! Come get me! Come and eat 
Leave me, you beast! now.
the spell. It's broken. Then it is over. Time to go. What the hell are you talking about? What's going on? It's okay. Don't worry. What, what just happened to them? The spell is broken. We're free. We killed that thing. It's done. It's okay. Our time came long ago. This is the only way. Thank you. Without you, we may have never found strength. 